Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Gonna try something a little different today and dive into the nether regions, if you will, of in and out I have a special guest, Mr. Ken Domic. How's it going, eh? YouTube food reviewer from Canada. Just is, flew in. Is in town. <laughs> and boy, are my arms tired. <laughs> secret menu. Are you familiar with that? At in and out Yes, I am. We're not going to get every item on the secret menu because there's about 50 different variances. But we're going to get five or six of the key points. Sound good? Sounds great. Let's go inside. Join me. And Ken, who's walking away. <laughs> and while you can get all these items at each and every location, I chose this one in particular because pretty neat architecture and there's a very large seating area off to the right. This is located in Marina del Rey, California. When you go through the drive through or indoors, this is the menu you normally see with just a few options, just the basic necessities. Most people assume this is all they offer, but what we're getting today, none of it is specifically on this menu board. This is their secret items. They're totally, well, kind of, sort of, secrets. Just to show how popular this place is, the line is stretching completely out the door. But because I had to wait so long, they, they gave me some stickers here. Nice. Not just the traditional, but also the... Is that a sticker? Or yeah, these are all little stickers. Oh, okay, they're tiny stickers. All right. Did you get a sticker, Ken? Uh, I hope one of those is for me. Well, this here is for you. Nice. I just okay. I just wanted to I just wanted to, to make you jealous there for a moment. It's like a little coloring area? Yeah, well, no, it's for these stickers. So you can put all your stickers on there like a little oh. symphony. Okay, yeah. So, so they got a little... Take uh, it off. Nice, yeah, I would never would have realized that. Pretty you cool. make me realize stuff like this because your videos observe things when I'm like videotaping stuff I'll be like, oh look at this. Then you know the, there's the crack in the thing where the guy's foot was in that movie And it's just like well, the I little details. I just, yeah, I love the details. The little details. And, and that was a detail right there This is what we're dealing with. There are quite a few items here. You see over in this tray Are animal style fries, which is basically just cheese Thousand Island dressing and some onions, onions. Not the typical onions. What type of onions are those? Those just look like uh, grilled onions and then chopped up really small. And somebody also said something about pickles, and, but I'm not sure if there's 100% pickles in that or not. If there are, they're way, way down in they're there. They're very small. This is called a Flying Dutchman, which is, there's no bread on it. It's just basically, I'm, I'm going to grab this though. Sure. I'm not going to be shy. It's basically just two pieces of meat with the cheese inside of it. <laughs> Who orders that? Food reviewers. That's <laughs> it. That's just just much, people like just you us. and occasionally me. I don't do a lot of food reviews, but this is a special occasion because you know. You're like, what's weird? I want to order in that. A, in and out secret menu, you have to. This has no meat on it. This is just a cheeseburger. Right. And it's not like. But well, they call it a grilled cheese. Oh, it's called a, yeah, a grilled cheese sandwich. And I've heard that when you bite into this, you can it almost tastes like a regular burger. It like fools you into thinking there's meat in there. So Probably because they're just the way it's all conformed. I'm interested and in and checking buns. that out. Well, and then yeah. this here is called protein style because there is there's meat in there but there is no bread it's wrapped not in buns but in lettuce and you see you got the goodness of the onions and tomatoes down in there and then to get our fill <laughs> of beef you want to explain what this is ken uh this is just the three by three so it's three uh patties and three cheese it looks like two tomatoes uh onion lettuce and I like pretty much everything on these burgers except uh, pickles, but I always take at least one bite to appease anybody who says, why, you don't like pickles? And it's like, eh, sometimes they taste good on things, sometimes they don't, sometimes nice. they don't, but. So that's it. Out of the 50 different variances, these are the key items. So we got one, two, three, four, five things. There are two drinks we're gonna order afterwards, but we didn't want them to melt, so we're gonna get those after we feed our faces and we're gonna wash it down with the with the special beverages. Cheers. Well, for, for now, we got water. Just got to wash the, uh, the stuff down. So cheers. we got the water for the meal. Uh, cheers one more time. Cheers. Do we have to say it together? Okay, so right, one, two, three, cheers. Cheers. Or should we do a hearty in and out? One, two, three. Hearty in and out. That's what we're gonna say is hearty in and out. Yes, one, two, three. Hearty, hearty in, in and out. out. Mm. That went well. Just to get this one out of the way, just in case <laughs> we wanna, we don't want to go from like the super amazing burger to possibly just a veggie burger. Let's save this for last. Yes. This will be last. So let's let's just like pull this out of the bag. It's funny how they wrap it twice. I guess it's just part of the process. I don't know exactly what the process is, but we'll try and 
open this up somehow. Oh, look at that. You unwrap it like it's like a Christmas it's present. It's a Christmas present. Happy Christmas, birthday. 365 <laughs> days a year. All right. So we'll get that done. It's pretty you windy just here. Slice, just slice it down the middle. Yeah. Sorry we'll for the fingers. We'll go in at the same time. The grilled cheese. Ooh. Oh yeah, get down deep down in there. My tomato's <laughs> falling out. There, Pardon? Now I have heard that when you bite into this, the flavors of it will convince you that it's non-vegetarian. Right. Let's give it a shot. Kind of. Mm -hmm. It's the cheese. It's the cheese and the sauce. The, the cheese, the sauce, and then the bun. The bun has, uh, it's toasted. Especially when you get deep down in there, it, it almost tastes like a burger in a way. Like an In-N-Out burger. So maybe the secret of In-N-Out is not the burgers. Maybe it's the bun and the sauce and everything that's on it. I've actually been told that by restaurant owners. It's all about the bun. So the difference between Wendy's, McDonald's and all that, it's all about the bun. I'm gonna carve into the Flying Dutchman now. I'm gonna give it a little, a little slice. Ooh, give it a little slice here. This is gonna be the exact polar opposite of what we just ate. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Look at that cheese in there mm. with the meat. So we're gonna get, we're gonna get some meat to make up for the non-meat that we had a second ago. Okay. Grab, grab your piece. Thank you, sir. Here, coming at you. This much. This much. And Tastes like salty <laughs> meatloaf with some cheese in it. Oh yeah. You really taste more the sodium in that when when it's not in a burger. When there's all the other things in there. I didn't realize how much I missed this from the original until now. And that's why you like them so much because they're salty as hell. <laughs> We're making a little bit of a mess, but it's all all fun and games when it comes to eating. These are animal style fries. Let's, let's dig in. I haven't had these in like four years. Oh, it's been too long. Yeah. It's been too long. I wasn't, wasn't too keen on them the first time I reviewed them, but uh, I'm hoping I can be solid. Well, the or secret changed. is you have to make sure you have some of that gooey goodness on the fry itself. <laughs> Grab your side and pull. Okay. It's like a wishbone. Just pull it. I need some oh of that. Oh my gosh. I need some yeah. of that. I grabbed the right spot. Look at this. Oh Here my God. Ready? Ooh, yeah. I said I'd rather just have the fries. This batch of fries is extra crunchier than normal. Yeah. Well, you can ask for it. That's another secret menu item. There, there are some variances to the fries. Yeah. You can order light fries, extra, extra salty, crispy. extra crispy. Overcooked or whatever they call it. I think it. they might have gave us the extra crispy. I prefer, for me personally, the fries at In-N-Out are weaker than the burgers. That's just my personal opinion. The burgers are way up Amazing, there. Amazing, yeah. Right, and the fries are not quite as epic. That's why I have to coat them with the cheese and all the additional, you know, slop on top of it. Regular fries. A burger and chop it up and put it on top of it. I think you have to actually oh, okay. do that yourself. Though. Right. So people will do that and they call it something else. That should be the animal style because if you put a chopped oh, yeah, burger chop it, yeah. on top of here, that's animal on there. There's no animal in potato. They should call that the slaughterhouse. This is kind of like a flying Dutchman with uh, fully loaded, fully loaded uh, flying Dutchman with no bun. But instead of wrapping your hand around bread, you're wrapping it around lettuce. lettuce. And that's a lot of lettuce. So let us cut that in lettuce, two. Lettuce, cut it. <laughs> and uh, share it. That is one big chunk of lettuce. Look at Can, that. Is that going to be possible? To, that's, a, that's like a half a head of lettuce. <laughs> Look at the size of that. Look down that in there. That's crazy. It almost looks like Audrey 2 from Audrey 2. Audrey 2 from Little Shop of Horrors. Feed me, Seymour. Except me, we're gonna. Seymour. He's gonna be feeding us. Ooh. Oh. What? What do we got? We got a bird down here trying to get a, get a bite. Yeah. Come on, no secret menu for you. Usually people don't take it out of the, the wrapper either, and we're, just, we're it making it really you messy. Count it down. In three, two, one. That's good. There's nearly nothing here at this place that is bad. Everything is edible. Mm -hmm. That's how disgusting it is. You mm. talking with your mouth full or your hands? Both, well, both. I'm disgusting. Not necessarily one particular item, it's a mixture of everything. So you can take something away, but it all still kind of tastes the same. Yes. In its own bizarre fashion. I agree. I like that. 
Who need more napkin? <laughs> this is the three by three. They do sell a four by four, and you were saying they have a five by five? Well, you can go as high as you want. They just won't build it in there. They'll, they'll give you the patties in a box on the side, and then you have to jam it in there okay, yourself. Like a three by three will pretty much see yeah, the deal. Don't, you don't need anything more than a two by That's two, really. Good. Even cutting this thing in, in <laughs> half is gonna be very difficult. Oh my gosh, is it even gonna be cuttable? I should've just ripped it apart like an animal. I don't even think I can. It won't cut, eh, because of the plastic? I'm gonna go for it. Just do it right now. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I kind of horse swoggled your onion. <laughs> That's a right. lot of onion on there. Oh yeah. Adam did it. It's down. It's like heaven. <laughs> oh, yes it is. Yes. I love the secret menu as much as I love the regular menu. That's good because there's two more trays of food coming out. <laughs> I'm really glad you took the big piece. Oh, you even took my bottom bun. <laughs> you took the whole bun. Okay, I'm gonna go uh, half regular and then half veggie style. There you go, yeah. <laughs> so it's half healthy with three patties of beef and three slices of cheese just for my heart we're getting Thank our you. calorie content in here on this property <laughs> don't want to tell you mm. I look forward to this every year I don't do freestyle anymore one is fine two is good see people in Los Angeles they take in and out for granted what is in and out to the rest of the world what is their feelings people People go crazy for this place. Well, when you come to the West Coast, it's uh, something, one of the things you look forward to. Every single time I've been here, I've been here four times now, and I, every time I've come here, I've been to an in and I'm like a champion here. Bring it down. Mm. Good stuff, Adam. Step one is done. Gonna throw the trash out, and then head back indoors and get some some beverages. <laughs> Oh yes, it's happening, it's happening. Oh boy. Okay, we have two options. We have the Neapolitan shake, which tell. is vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry all mixed together, or the root beer float. Instead of sharing them, choose which one you want. I've done this, so and I've never done this. You've so never done the root beer? I've never done the root beer. I'm gonna float. slide the root beer over to you ever so gently, and I will take the Neapolitan. I'm gonna try to take the lid off just to see how yeah, did they squirt it down the sides or do they have a machine yeah, that does? Off. Or do they do just do they mix it in at all or Ooh. Ooh, it's like a whole conglomerate. It's like a science project. <laughs> It's gone oh, bad. You should probably take the lid off yours as well. Okay. Since we're going, I didn't put the lid back on properly. Just give you a heads up. Going full. So full this, is, this is this is probably ooh nice. And this is traditional root beer and vanilla ice cream. That looks lovely. I love mixed together floats. Nice. Pull the they put the protective Perfect. straw on there. Okay. So nice way to do that. We should do the cheers again. What okay. did we do before? We do the. You said something about in and out. Should do like like remember like the whoa Bundys? We should do whoa in and out. Okay, ready? Whoa, whoa in and out. out. <laughs> oh, that's that's good. I don't know. Mine's very thick. What kind of uh, root beer they use? It that's almost, a good question. It almost almost tastes like a, an A and W root beer at the moment. Can you get root beer from the fountain inside? They made that behind the counter but the rest of the refills are in the restaurant itself. Oh, okay. So if it's a secret root beer. So when you order a regular soda, you have to go get it yourself? Normally. They give you an empty cup. You, prefer, you get whatever you right. want. But if you when want you order that, they put the ice cream and they go back to where you can't see them. <laughs> and then they bring it out <laughs> They're like fully loaded w. with soda. Don't let them see. It's good. The first couple sips were more root beer because it's kind of melting quickly. I like their shakes normally. With this one you can't really differentiate the taste because they're all mishmashed together. It has, it doesn't really taste like Neapolitan ice cream. Oh. 
I was gonna say, when I had it, it tasted like Neapolitan ice cream. It does? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe it's not mixed together properly yet. Maybe I really don't know what Neapolitan tastes like. It's like having two drinks in one. Yeah. You have three. Oh, that's so good. I've officially probably gained five to seven pounds today. Just today? Out of, just from sitting here <laughs> at this outdoor table. <laughs> this is not something you can do every day. You cannot oh, do no. a full secret menu. That's why I said. With the shake on a daily basis I and really, expect to live a long, healthy life. I really hope they never come to Canada. Not, not in a bad way, because I'd be this eating there too all good. the time. Yeah. That's going to do it for today. I'd like to thank Ken Domic. I will put a link to both his channels. He's not only a food reviewer, but also a blogger, you could say. And you have two separate channels that kind of coincide with the content, correct? Right. correct? And uh, I'll be on that uh, on the food channel and my blog channel. Are you gonna you gonna kind of mix the content on both of them? Yes, sir. So definitely check in the description box. I will also be featured in an adventure he is going on. I don't want to give any spoilers. You can say which which place we're going to, so they can look it up. Randy's Donuts. Randy's Donuts. I saw it for the very first time when I was on my way over here. I have been there <laughs> years ago. You have a convertible? Yeah, a convertible I, Mustang. I rented it. It's can awesome. you give me a ride over to Randy's? Yeah, let's do it. Check down below for my t-shirts if you would like to get an Adam the Woo shirt similar to this very one. Adam the Woo on Spreadshirt is where you can find these. Get one shipped directly to your door, any size, any shape, any color, to your house, to your home, to your residence. Oh, I think it's almost a wreck behind me. I'll see you guys in the next video, the vlog. It's over. Oh yes! The wind in my head!